All right, here is the exam classic. Which of these two molecules is more acidic? Well, to assess the acidity, the very first thing that we are going to do here, we are going to draw our conjugate bases by removing the most acidic proton from each of the molecules. Then, we are going to assess the stability of those conjugate bases, looking at the resonance, atomic size, electronegativity, induction, and the hybridization of the atoms with the negative charge. In this case, resonance is going to be the only defining factor between our our two molecules. The one on the left has four resonance contributors, while the one on the right only has two resonance contributors. And here is something that a lot of students forget. Whenever we are analyzing our resonance structures, we need to pay attention to the quality of those resonance structures and not just the number of the resonance structures. And by quality, I mean major versus minor contributors. In the case on the left, we only have one major contributor, while the molecule on the right has two equally major contributors. And as the major contributors are way more important than the minor contributor, the one on the right is actually going to be more stable, which means that our carboxylic acid on the right is going to be more acidic than the phenol on the left. And of course, if we wanted to double check it with the pKa value, the pKa values for the carboxylic acid is about 4.5, while the pKa for the phenols is about 10, which means that the carboxylic acids are 100,000 times more acidic than phenols, even though phenols have seemingly more resonance.